Hello everyone, Unforgiven here with another GIMP tutorial. It's been a little while since I've put out one. Uh, it's now 2017, so I figured it's about time with a new version of GIMP out and a new registry available as well to get your new scripts and uh, everything else from. Uh, though I didn't do an update on all this, uh, so this is going to be on just about all that. So let's start off with the new version of GIMP. Uh, if you don't already have it or uh, if you don't have the new version or you're not sure, you can go over to GIMP.org. That's www.gimp.org. I will leave a link in the description for this. And this is what it will load here where you can get the latest version of GIMP, uh, which is 2.8.20. Now, if you were really, if you're running a Linux and you really want to get into it and you know a little more about it than me, uh, you can actually go to their download page here at the bottom and get GIMP 2.9, which is, I guess, what you call in beta, uh, if you even want to call it that. Um, I don't even know if I want to even call it alpha. Uh, it's, like I say, Linux, uh, because it does not come with a Windows installer and it only comes in packets. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole other thing there. Uh, but getting back to it, uh, once you have uh, the latest version, just by simply clicking on this button here, it'll download into your, uh, onto your computer. Uh, click on that and install it onto your computer, and you'll have GIMP. So, anyway, going from there, here we go. We'll open a GIMP up and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, the only thing I've done on mine uh, since I've updated to the newest version is install a theme, so it looks a little better on my screen for me. That's uh, just how I like it to look. A little darker look for me. But boom. Okay, there we go. So now we have GIMP in its entirety. Yeah, it's basically the same as has looked since 2.8.1. <laughs> There's really not much difference. Uh, you, know, you might notice a difference because I have a theme loaded, but uh, all the buttons are the same. Uh, there's nothing else really added uh, extra or anything else. But uh, the biggest difference now is the GIMP registry has been down for years. Uh, and I've had to put out videos on how to get around that and put out links on how to download uh, specific scripts and whatnot, uh, themes, backgrounds, uh, that you can generally find on the GIMP registry, but were all, all, the, all of a sudden unavailable. Well, now we have a great new site. Uh, so if you just open up your default web browser and go to GIMP, GIMPscripts.com. If I highlight it there for a moment and load that up, this is actually the new GIMP registry. Or, uh, and you'll notice over here on the left hand, or excuse me, the right hand side under top downloads, the very first one is our Layer FX. So this is going to be how to download and install the Layer FX script foo. And this will go basically the same for just about any script uh, script foo you find on this site. Uh, we're just going to choose this one here, so I'm just going to click on that. Uh, once you find, that, whether it be this one or another one that you want to install into your GIMP, uh, and click on it, this is what you're going to get. Uh, it's going to give you a short synopsis of uh, what exactly what you're getting inside your script here. A lot of times it'll even give you examples and uh, pictures of what some of the outcomes will look like. Uh, layer effects, though, gives you uh, certain blending and shadowing and things like that that you really can't uh, show examples of that really give you uh, a true examples of what uh, what you're actually getting. But uh, anyway, you'll see here we have three options for download. Uh, the very top one is the Layer FX script foo, and if you're running Windows, this is the .scm file right here, and this is what you're going to want if you're running Windows. Now, if you're running Linux, uh, I'm not, but if you happen to be running Linux, uh, you will want the Python version. So the Python 2 with a .py there, and there's actually two different options uh, depending on which version of GIMP you're running. But for Windows, we're just going to click on the Layer FX script foo, and we're going to let that download. All right, now once it's done downloading, I am just going to show in folder so I can see where it's at. And this opens Windows or Explorer for me. And I'll go ahead and minimize this out of the way. And it shows me exactly where my file is. So what I'm going to want to do with this file is I'm going to want to right click on this file. And I am going to cut. Because I don't want to leave a copy of it here. I don't like to clog up my computer. You're more than welcome to copy if you want. Uh, just in case you mess up. Uh, put something in the wrong place. But I just want to cut. 
Uh, default location for this as well is in downloads uh, on here. Okay, now from here, you're going to want to install this in the GIMP folders uh, for scripts. And to get there by default, uh, you're going to go to in, onto your PC by default is going to be on the C drive, users, and it's going to be on your main user account, uh, which for me is, is Mike right here. So it's going to be users and then your main username. And then once you open that up, you'll notice right up top here, you should have a folder that is .gimp2.8. And I love that it starts with the dot, that puts it all the way up top. So we're just going to open up that folder there. And you'll notice, boom, there we have all our nice pretty folders for where you can put all our different scripts, patterns, palettes, uh, backgrounds, uh, themes, uh, what have you. But for this tutorial, we're looking for the scripts folder. And we're just going to open that up. And by default, this is a completely empty folder. I had a lot of complaints on my last video uh, that I already had this installed, and I just verbally told people how to do this, and I didn't do it uh, manually on the, the video. So I deleted everything out of here so I could do it all from scratch. So we're just going to, once opening up that folder, we're going to right click inside here somewhere and we're going to paste. And you'll notice we've just pasted in the layerfx.scm file in Windows. Now once that's in, I'm just going to minimize that out. And I've already got GIMP up and running here. I'll maximize that out so you can see it. And you'll notice running across the top here, we have our file, edit view, view image, so on and so forth. We have filters and then windows. Now what we're looking for is a new little option to pop up here called script foo. Uh, so to get that, we're going to go to filters and you can scroll all the way down to the bottom to script foo. And then over and to the middle option for refresh scripts and click that. Now, after just a second or two, you should notice you now have an extra option between filters and windows called script foo. And clicking on that, you'll see the layer effects which we just installed, which gave us a, an additional bevel and a boss, color overlay, drop shadow, and you can see them down through there. A whole bunch of different options uh, that work just a little differently than the ones that are located here under the general filters uh, that come with the program. And now this is just one script foo, or one script out of many that you could get. Uh, you can also do brushes the same, exact same way. Once you're in, in here, you can actually, here's your brushes folder. Uh, any additional brushes you want to download online uh, can be installed in there. A lot of the uh, Photoshop brushes do work within GIMP, uh, so those can be installed as well. Uh, and if you look down there, you can see all the other folders. Uh, your palettes, your patterns, so you can put in more patterns, your plugins, themes. Uh, I do have a bunch of themes installed. This is normally a completely blank folder. Uh, you can see all the different themes I have in here. I just kind of copied all the ones from my old GIMP program and put them in here because I just like to make it look how I want it to look. But uh, that basically covers everything. Uh, so we have our awesome, awesome plugin reg registry here at gimpscripts.com that we can use now uh, for all our uh, script, uh, food ne script food needs, I guess you could say. So, so please take a second to like and subscribe and leave any comments below if I've left anything out or if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.